If you've ever wanted to add wood, concrete, cardboard effects to your type, well, you could do it with styles and you could do it with patterns, but the flexibility is not really there. With Photoshop 2023 now, you've got substances, substances and materials. So let's just go right to the start. Let's just remove those and let's just type something. So horizontal type, and I'm gonna go with Lorem Ipsum or just law. Let's go with something very simple, three letters. Press return. And you can see the design there, pretty reasonable. And you can see the layer here. With that selected, and that's the key thing, select the layer, go to Window and Materials. Make certain you go there to get Materials panel, and you can see the panel. Please check out my earlier video on how to use this panel. Loads of great features. In fact, there's so much in it. Could spend hours and hours going through it. You've got Materials and Lighting. You can also add your own additional materials as well. But Photoshop's added a few additional ones here and you simply just click and apply. So egg crate, don't ask me. I have no idea what egg crate looks like. Is that an egg crate? Well, I'm gonna go with that. You've got material properties. You can change the repeat X. Now you increase it. Instead of scaling, it's going the other way. So you increase the repeat, say to four or five. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be, so if I put 30 in there, it's limited to 10. So you just put it up to say four. That is a pity. It would be nice if you could extend it further. You can also repeat uniformly and there's loads of other features. Literally this single property, this single substance, you could create thousands of different designs just from this. So it's applied to this type and you can see the result. You've got over here in the layers panel, You've got law copy. You've also got this law as well. It's added to. Slightly confusing the way it's done it. And you've got smart filters and you've got that substance. If you select that, you say, you know what, I don't want that one. You can change it. I'm going to go for comet. And you can apply that or maybe a wall or something. There's a load of them. And as I said, you can go and access millions of other substances as well. So you've got this wall effect. And again, you can modify the scale. In this case, it has got a scale. So you can reduce it down, offset, and so on. But you can also turn it into a smart filter. So you can select that one and that one. So select both, that's the key thing. Select both those, and then go to layer and smart objects and convert to smart object. So it's all in one smart object now. And you can see it there. If you decide you want to change it, simply just go here. You can see that little thumbnail, double click. And then you go into here, it's a, let's see, a PSB file. Always a PSB file. And you can change the name, you can change the type. I might wanna go for La instead. But I'm gonna go with Law. But you can see you can change the type. You can also, with that selected, to select it. And decide, you know what, I'm gonna go with Ominous. Why not? And you can see Ominous applied. And again, you can modify the repeat X, repeat Y just so you can see it slightly better. You can also change the colors as well. Whole load of color ones, hue shift. So you can make it slightly bluer, slightly redder, depending on the saturation intensities and so on. You can see it's got a slight green tinge there now and contrast and much, much more. Well, once you've changed it, once you've modified everything, maybe applied some effects, you can close it. So let's just close that and save. And you can see the result there. So you've got your change design. Well, what you can also do is you can go to layer and you can add other options to it. Layer styles, maybe go for bevel and boss or any of the others as well. So bevel and boss, perfect original. And you can see the result there. You've got a nice bevel added to your very unusual texture there, ominous as it says. Click OK. So you've got that. What you can also do is you can duplicate it. Now, if you duplicate it, unfortunately, they're connected. So any change to the properties will change in both. So if I go and create another one, if it's reasonable, and you go down there and you go into it, let's just quickly go into it, double click. And you know what, I don't want that anymore. I'm gonna go for plastic or one of the other ones. Let's just go for powder. So select powder, as long as it's selected, you can see the result of powder. And there's Again, hundreds of different features. 
loads of scratches, powder layer, dots density, and so on. So with that selected, press return, close it, and then you get both get changed, which you may or may not want. But of course, what you can do, just create some more type. As simple as that. Just simply go and create. So this time, oh, don't want that. Make that a bit too small. A, B. Let's just create some. Now you can change, of course, the font. You don't have to go with Arial Black. You can go with John Doe, Myriad Pro, whatever. Press turn. And now with that, you can simply make certain. Again, just go over it and click on this. As long as it's selected. As long as it's selected, that's the key thing. So just go down there. And I'm going to go with, say, plywood. Let's go for plywood this time. Takes a few seconds process. And you can see plywood has been applied to that design. Now, you, what you can do is you can see so you can move it around. Simply just go to that and you can move it around, position it, perfectly reasonable, do that. Now, what you can also do if you want, you can rotate it. So it's just up there, it will come up and say, no. You can rotate it and it doesn't make any difference, but it does allow you at least to move it, which is nice, but you can always rotate it here. There's the rotate feature here. You've got look, rotate 90, material top, material rotation, whole load of different options there for the rotation. So it doesn't have to be just up like that. But what you can also do, exactly the same as before, make certain you select both. So both are selected, the AB copy and the AB. It's weird the way it's done it, but that's the way it seems to work. And layer, and again, smart objects, and convert to smart object. So now you can see you've got this lovely text which you can move around and reposition if you want to put it on top of there. Say something like that. And of course, if you say, you know what, oh crumbs, I don't want AB, you can always change it. Simply double click on that and you can go and change that and say, you know what, I want ABC. I knew I made a mistake. I don't want just AB. So that's it, ABC, close and save. And then you can see you've got your text there. And you can do exactly the same as before. Just go there with the layer selected and go to layer, or maybe go over to the layers panel. That's another option. Lots of different ways of doing things. Of course, in Photoshop, as always, there's FX down here. And you can go down here, Bevel and Boss. And there's other ones, of course. You can combine it, maybe you decide, you know what, I want also gradient overlay. So gradient overlay, go for soft light, hard light. So you can tweak the colors. You don't have to keep it exactly the same colors as before. So color burn, difference, maybe change the gradient. You've got a load of different gradients. Select that and you can see you get this lovely weird purple and green effect, if that's what you want, along with the bevel emboss and maybe a drop shadow. So you can add a drop shadow to your design. And you can create millions and millions of different type effects. Now you can also, you think, oh, you know what? What I want to do is I want to distort that. Now I'm going to distort it one way. So I'm just going to go to filter and down to distort. Now you could use any other filter. I'm just using distort because it's more sort of, you can see it very quickly. So I'm just going to go for wave and you can see what happens. Number of generators, I've got one. Doesn't matter the exact settings. You can obviously variety of different settings and click okay. And you can see what happens. It's distorted, it's also distorted the whole of that design. Now you might not want that. You might not want the type to be distorted, the actual ABC, but you want the substance to be distorted. So undo, make sure that's selected, go down there and just double click. And now you're in here with this here, make certain that's selected. You can go to filter and go down to distort and maybe use a pinch, whatever. I'm going to go with wave, go with the same. And now you can see what happens. You've got that substance and you can see the substance actually fills the entire thing. It's just masked there. You can see it's filled and you can randomize it and create a whole range of different designs. And I'm just gonna go with that one. Just go with one and it's distorted it. Maybe play again. Maybe make it more extreme this time so you can see it even more obvious. So click okay. Then you can see the results. You get a very nice jazzy, weird, 1930s style text there. And you can close it. So close, save, and then 
You can see there's obviously still got the gradient overlay as well as in the bevel as well. But you can see now you've got this nice warpy sort of substance over here applied to this. You might then think, you know what? I don't just want it like this. I want the background to have a substance as well. So you can click here, as long as it's selected, that's the key thing. Select that and then go, oh, I'm gonna go with one of them. Let's just go for gold leaf, as, as good as any. And you can apply it. Maybe not the greatest of combinations of colors, or maybe go for this one. Well, again, it's selected. You can change your mind. You've got that there. And again, you see exactly the same thing happens. Background copy, you've got, still got that background. It's very odd the way it does it, but obviously that's the logic it uses. But it does create another layer just to confuse. And you can still modify it. So if you decide, you know what, let's just change the repeat Y, and you can maybe make it crunched up like that if that's the effect you want to do with that. And of course, the whole thing, if you want to, you can combine into a single smart object layer and smart objects, and then continue to modify it add additional effects and so on. Create a lot of complexity. And you can still, with all these things, still go to layer and you've got new adjustment layer and you can go and add maybe hue and saturation, click okay, that's above it. And you can then modify and you can see as you change the colors there, you can create some very interesting designs there. And again, it's all infinitely changeable. So hue and saturation, the type, it's all editable. Background, still editable. So that's a quick way of creating some type. I will be doing future videos, obviously as soon as I learn a few more ways of doing things, combining them, I haven't done anything like that, combining effects in different ways with the substances. I am certain this is an infinite complex set of designs that could be used to create some really amazing type effects in Photoshop. Hope you found this of interest. Please put in the comments below how you're using this substances feature. Have you explored it yet? Be great to know. Also, any other questions, please let me know in the comments. Thank you much.